Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing just a quick video because as you guys may know I am in the middle of wedding planning. Um, I'm actually getting married in eight days and I'm kind of losing my mind with all of the stuff I need to get done. So today is just a quick fun little video. Um, I did do something kind of different. Um, I wanted to play with these pressed flower petals that I had um, and I actually pressed these flowers from a bouquet that I got during my engagement photo shoot which I will put a little picture here so you guys can see all the pretty flowers um, but it was it felt like such a waste to just throw all the flowers away so I pressed as many as I could um, and I have all of these like tons of little itty bitty flower petals now so I want to do like a series of different flower petal art things I guess so this was kind of just like playing with what I could do with the flower petals so yeah it was a lot of fun it was just kind of relaxing and just something to do so I had a video out today because I don't think I will have a video out next week because it'll be literally the day before I get married and I'm gonna have family coming into town soon and there's still lots of stuff that I need to make and do for the actual wedding. So yeah, life is a little bit crazy right now. So I hope you guys enjoy this quick video. Um, yeah, I used my handy dandy Grumbacher watercolors, which you can see on the left hand side. Um, I really enjoy these watercolors, but I do kind of want to try some new ones only because these colors are super muted. and. I don't mind because I really like light colored, pastel colored uh, paintings, especially for my watercolor stuff. But I would like to maybe experiment with brighter colors eventually. So yeah, um, but they were good for now at least anyway. Um, and I just went in with those watercolors and I like to work in watercolors and layers. So I added different layers of colors on top of each other until I got the correct colors and values that I wanted. Um, the only trouble I had with this piece was with the hair. Um, I really wanted the hair to be light and I kind of like how it looked in this stage where it wasn't colored at all. Um, and I tried to give her like white blonde hair but it didn't really turn out quite how I wanted but that's okay because I wanted the focus to be on the flower petals anyway. So say la vie I guess. Um, but yeah, so for the flower petals, like I mentioned, I pressed a whole bunch of them and how I did that is I just took some really heavy books and I put the flower petals in the pages of the books um, surrounded by two pieces of paper and then I just pressed them and by press I just closed the book and then put heavy stuff on top of the books um, and I did that for a week or so and then after about a week they were completely dry and I can now use them for whatever I want um, and it, it turned out really cool I'm really happy now that I did that because like I said I didn't want to waste all of those flowers so I now have all these petals that I can do fun stuff with so yes I'm definitely going to be experimenting more with those after the wedding and when I have some downtime um, even after the wedding though life is going to be pretty hectic because my fiance is going into basic training and he's going to be gone for a few months so we won't really have much time being married before he has to go away again and that makes me kind of sad but anyway that's just how it's gotta go um, but in those two months when he's gone that is when I will be able to really focus on art and YouTube and trying lots of new things but until he leaves I am going to be spending as much time with him as possible so my channel may just kind of go a little dark for a few weeks but I will be back with a whole bunch of new stuff um, sometime in August um, I may still upload videos here and there, just probably not every single week. Um, but yeah, life is, that's just how life goes sometimes. It gets a little crazy. Anyway, so I pressed the flowers and then I used just a liquid adhesive, kind of like Mod Podge. Um, and I just painted it onto the backs of the flowers and then pressed those onto the painting itself. So yeah, um, I really like how it turned out. I think it's really pretty. Um, and it's like it's unique because now 
usually when you do a painting it's like two dimensional but adding the flower petals adds like a third dimension to it and I think it looks really neat so anyway thank you guys so much for hanging out with me I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one bye mm -hmm.